So this is a case study of a one of the most common types of businesses that we get in BizHack, which is coaching and consulting services, uh, where folks are, are often home-based businesses, and so they must rely on digital marketing because there's really no other way for folks to find them. And uh, this is also a case where, in, in the case of Firefly Bridge, which is a professional organizing service, where a lot of times you have to give in order to receive. So Zanat this evening, I believe, uh, is gonna be running a uh, folding workshop where she teaches people how to fold their clothes, uh, adult sized clothes. And this is a great example of what we call a free irresistible offer. If you're the type of person that likes to watch a folding workshop so you can fold better, you're probably a good candidate for her services. So without further ado, the amazing Zinat Siman of Firefly Bridge Organizing and Productivity. Okay, I'm so sorry. No problem. All right. So um, I suffered from postpartum depression after the birth of each of my three kids. And after I had my youngest son more than a decade ago, I was really completely overwhelmed. And one of the results of this was that my home became completely uh, cluttered both with our own accumulated stuff and now with baby gear and kids toys and things like that and also my to-do list just kept growing bigger and bigger and all of that affected my mood my sleep and I couldn't feel really connected and present with my family so when I started to recover I found that I needed to simplify everything in order to feel lighter so I started researching what the best way was to organize in order to simplify my life and as I organized and reduced what I owned, I found that I started to enjoy doing more and spending time with my family and friends more. I felt inspired to train as a professional organizer and eventually I developed the CLEAR framework, which is the system that I use now to teach others how to organize their own homes. So my name is Zina Siman and I started Firefly Bridge Organizing because I wanted to share how I did this with other people who are going through the same kind of overwhelm that I felt. And I've made it my mission to teach others how to simplify and organize just like I did so that they can also live a life that feels unburdened and full of joy. Um, as Dan mentioned, I own a professional organizing company and really uh, clients came to me primarily through referrals. So uh, until 2020, um, my business was 100% in-home service. But once the pandemic hit, of course, nearly all home services were canceled and I knew that I had to begin organizing virtually, but I lacked any digital marketing knowledge to be able to get eyes on Firefly Bridge. And so this tax digital marketing marketers edge um, class helps to fill that gap. Uh, so my solution was to try to find my local audience online and learn to market effectively to them in order to generate leads. And my audience in general were Miami area women, um, ages 50, 35 to 54 with a higher household income with an interest in minimalism. With the, the BizHack process, um, I created my first video views ad, but I mistakenly chose a US wide audience, not a local audience. And that ran for five days before I realized a mistake. So I had to decide what to do then. I decided I could continue my first ad, but then I concurrently ran the same ad for video views to a local audience. And um, after that ran for a bit, I created this, um, second ad, which is a lead generation ad. And the irresistible offer here, as Dan mentioned, is a live folding workshop that I'm gonna be holding uh, tomorrow evening. So results for me, um, the my total spend on a US-wide campaign was 7786. I had 1,047 impressions on the second ad, these results are for the second ad, 80 clicks, uh, 20 leads with a cost per lead of $1.75, had eight signups to the um, the folding workshop, and I just closed a sale on Monday uh, for $1,499, which already gives me a 19 uh, times ROI. And then the local spending, uh, $83.77 was my total spend, 1,075 impressions, 79 clicks, 16 leads, uh, for cost per lead of $2.11. I've had six signups through, uh, for the folding workshop and just before this uh, this class actually I closed the sale for almost a thousand dollars but beyond that the other results that I received from this class are um, 
that I now count for this hackers as clients. And I also am in work to create a collaboration with a former this hacker from the December Pinecrest class. And that to me is, is incredibly valuable, um, not only in terms of working with this hackers, but also for continuing support that we're providing each other and, um, and for networking in general. So my biggest learnings um, are were how to find my audience online and how to use audience insights in Facebook to really hone in on that audience. To quickly fix my mistakes and move on, um, even though I made mistakes with my first ad, I just had to you know, figure out what to do and, and continue moving. And then mapping the customer journey. To me, that was big. I had I really now can focus on each touch point. And before this class, I was focusing on the, the before they met me touch point and then the closing the sales touch point and nothing else. But also, I need to learn how to close sales. I realized that I think at closing sales and um, I need to be less apologetic and really learn how to do that well. So that's a big learning on my, on my side. And so um, if any of you are interested, I would like to offer for y'all to please join me tomorrow um, for the folding workshop. We have an interest in that, it's at seven o'clock. And thank you all very, very much. And I'm sorry for the, for, for the delay and the noise. <laughs> Yeah, so as a, a Zenat coach, you know, I, I uh, well, first off, congratulations, uh, Zenat. Um, I want to say you have no idea how efficient and organized Zenat is. You know, she was number one, you know, already at the first lab, Zenat had everything already in line, done, you know, it was, um, uh, for our one-on-ones, you know, everything was like, okay, this is what I've done. Let's address this, this, and that. It was, um, it, it, it was great. And, and I think, as uh, in that throughout the process, I, I really saw you becoming more and more comfortable with the platform, with creating the ads, you know, so quickly you, you turned, you know, your second, second ad. Right. So, um, so for the second ad, for the retargeting ad, Zenat had done like a fantastic ad. I really liked it and actually had suggested to, to Alex and that, oh, you should feature it because it was great. And actually, meanwhile, Zenat had taken it down. She was like, no, 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 actually I should offer something free. So she, she changed her strategy so quickly. And, um, so, uh, so this, uh, congr congrats to, to you. Um, also, you learned from your error, uh, which was, you know, with your first ad to uh, uh, not target the local audience. However, it's opening up new markets for you, you know, so I, I think it's fantastic. And I, and, and I think, you know, it, it may definitely be like a, a growth opportunity for you, especially um, in this day and time. Um, I, I think, I don't know if you are a reflection of your business or if your business is a reflection of you. Um, but it, it has, uh, been such a pleasure and, um, uh, I think you should continue also telling the story of you and, and also featuring yourself because, uh, as I said, um, uh, uh, there are a few uh, professional organizers uh, out there, but you are so aligned with your business and the story of you is so in line really with your business that you should uh, focus on that. So um, uh, it's been a pleasure and, and again, congratulations, Inat. Thank you, Molly. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Too.